Welcome from the SAMS Europe 2015 in Berlin. I'm happy to have Mr. Jaswell Calais here. We will talk some minutes about um, the conference and about his presentation he is holding today. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I would ask you to shortly introduce yourself and um, tell us what Racket Bankiza is doing. Yeah, sure. So I'm um, Racket Bankiza's global software asset manager and we are a fast-moving consumer goods uh, organization. And we make products such as Airwick, Finish, um, Vanish, so stuff you'd find in your in your household and in your purses, stuff like Strepsils and Durex are part of our brands as well. Okay, you're here to hold a presentation on software asset management, a shift in culture, not just a tool. That's right. How will, could you briefly explain what you're talking about? Uh, my presentation actually is touching upon the cultural side of software asset management. So I think a lot of people focus on the tools and you implement a tool and you are going to get cost savings and, uh, and processes from the tool. However, in my experience, I've realized that the tool is just a byproduct. But actually, if you focus on people and the processes and change the behavior of people, that's when software asset management is truly successful. And then that's when a tool can truly be powerful. OK, so this is what you mean with the shift of culture? Yeah. OK. Um, how is the SAM or the Software Asset Management organized at Racket Bank? Is there... So my function is a new function within the organization. So historically it's kind of been done as a secondary role for, for a lot, lot of people. Mm -hmm. So what we've had now within the organization is a, is a management change and they've seen the importance of this role and to have it as a dedicated role within the organization. Okay, and what goals do we have with the implementation of the system? So the goal is, again, to make sure we have software licensing compliance within the organization, but also to change some of our habits within the organization mm -hmm. to ensure we only have what we actually need and ensure employees are requesting software and using software that is actually required and it aligns with the strategic goals of the organization. All right. Um, you have six years, more than six years experience in IT asset management. How has the software asset management changed in the past years? I think when I first started there was probably not as much focus on cloud mm -hmm. and in recent years there's been more shift with organizations moving into the cloud. So I've worked for a diverse set of organizations. I've worked in technology, finance mm -hmm. and now within consumer goods. So you know, finance was a lot more reluctant to move into the cloud with a lot of security issues. Yeah. And whereas consumer goods and technology companies are actually looking to embrace the cloud, so they are very more open to, to looking at technological yeah. advancements. And how do you think is it going to change in the next years? I think the next year's coming is going to be probably more shift on cloud and software as a service mm. because I think that's moving away some of the operational costs within the organization. Mm. So it's more looking at leasing software as opposed to paying for the you know, free five-year terms and owning the license. Yeah. Um, what are the main challenges your company is facing in regards to software asset management? So at the moment the current challenges are there are no standards and centralized uh, um, okay. processes within the organization. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking to address is bring in a standard process and also standard offering. So we have standard versions mm -hmm. and standard editions that employees can use within the organization. Okay. Uh, what are the benefits and insights you're hoping to gain from these conferences? It's knowing that within all organizations, some of the challenges that we face, because sometimes when you're kind of doing this role, it's quite a niche role, I see it. Mm. So sometimes having that knowledge and sharing ideas with people, it's not as readily available. So the, this event, I believe, will allow me to knowledge share network and also just get an understanding of how other global organizations are doing software asset management yeah so i hope that we see you next year again if you like the networking and yeah. i'm really looking forward to your presentation in the afternoon thank you thanks a lot for this interview thank you